often add parts as well to records. You're often, you know, engineers are constantly fighting for separation so they can get clarity in the final mix. Well, we had all the fucking separation we could ask for, you know. <laughs> so that point of it was like, we, you heard a couple of tracks, I heard them coming through the wall. Uh, Magnificent Hurt, the, the one that's come out first, and uh, Penelope uh, Haypenny. And they sounded pretty good, like, with me and Pete playing them. And then I sent it to Davey and he put the bass on and Steve said, Where, where's the space for me to play on this? It sounds like The Who. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, no, you've... No. And the good thing was that Steve then found some other corners to play in. When, when we're in the room together, he always leads because he's, you know, he's so has so much fluency. Then when you hear the rest of the record, the few of the other tracks that you haven't heard yet, you'll hear Steve really sort of start to take over. And I like the fact that we had both. You know,